We're going to talk a little bit about conjugations or families of verbs. In stage 13, we first began to see infinitives. In sentences like this, ego amphoram portare non volo. I don't want to carry the amphora. In this sentence, portare is an infinitive. In stage 13, the vocabulary checklist also began to present new verbs along with their principal parts. So verbs are presented like this, porto, portare, portawi. I carry, to carry, I carried. Porto is the first person singular of the present. Portare is the present infinitive. Portawi is the first person singular of the perfect. Now, if you look at the second principal part at the infinitive, you can tell what conjugation or family a verb belongs to. If it's got a long A, like portare, it's first conjugation. If it's got a long E, like docere, it's second conjugation. If it's got a short E, an E without a long mark, like trahara, it's third conjugation. And if it's got a long I, like audire, it's fourth conjugation. So remember, long A, first conjugation, long E, second conjugation, short E, third conjugation, long I, fourth conjugation. And conjugation affects the way that we decide what vowel goes before the personal endings in the present. Now you already know how to conjugate the verb porto in the present. Porto, portas, portat, portamus, portatus, portant. I carry, you carry, he carries, we carry, y'all carry, they carry. The personal endings, O, S, T, mus, tis, and t, can be preceded by a vowel. And because this is a first conjugation verb, that vowel is an A. So it's portas, portat, portamus, portatus, portant. Note, however, that the A disappears before the O. But if we take a second conjugation verb like docheo, we have an E before the O, S, T, mus, tis, and t. Docheo, doches, docet, docemus, docetis, docent. I teach, you teach, he teaches, we teach, y'all teach, they teach. And that's because this is a second conjugation verb, which is characterized by that long e in the infinitive. Third conjugation verbs are tricky because they have a short e in the infinitive. And that short e just isn't very stable. So it disappears before the o of the first person singular. And it changes to a short i in the next forms and to a short u in the third person plural. So traho trahis trahit, trahimus trahit is trahunt, I drag, you drag, he drags, we drag, y'all drag, they drag. Finally, the fourth conjugation, which is characterized by this long I in the infinitive. Now it's a long vowel, it's pretty stable, so it stays before the O of the first person singular. We have audio, audis, audit, audimus, auditus, and then because Latin doesn't really like an INT ending, audiunt. Notice how we stuck a U in there. Now, conjugation doesn't just affect the vowel that appears before the personal endings O, S, T, mus, tis, enti in the present. 
It also affects what vowel will appear before the bom ba spot, bomus botus bunt of the imperfect. So it's porta bom, porta bas, do ke bom, do ke bas, tra he bom, tra he bas. And finally, audie bom, audie bas, audie bot. Audie bamus, audie batus, audie bat. Conjugation also affects what vowel appears before the endings of the imperfect. The good news is that conjugation affects the present, it affects the imperfect, but once we get to the perfect and pluperfect, it doesn't matter anymore. Go to the third principal part. Portawi, dokui, traxi, audiwi. Chop off that final I, which is just a personal ending, and you'll get the stem. Porta, doku, trox, audiu. And that's what you add the endings to, and conjugation doesn't matter. Just look at that third principal part, take off the final long I, and that gives you the stem, regardless of conjugation. So let's take doku. To form the perfect, we add that same e isti it, imis istis erunt endings that we already know for the perfect, and get Dakui, dakuisti, dakuit, dakuamis, dakuistis, dakuerunt. I taught, you taught, he taught, we taught, y'all taught, they taught. For the pluperfect, again, we take that same stem from the third principal part and add the endings eram, eras, erat, eramus, eratus, erant. So we get I had taught, you had taught, he had taught. We had taught, y'all had taught, they had taught. Let's take another example. Again, if you want to form the perfect or pluperfect, you go to the third principal part, take off the final I, and get your stem. So the perfect of audio, audire, audiwi, the stem is audiu. Audiwi, audiwisti, audiwit, audiwimus, audiwistis, audiwayrunt. Or if we wanted to do, say, the pluperfect of traho, go to the third principal part, take off the ending to get the stem trox, add the pluperfect endings, and you get troxaram, troxaras, troxarat. Troxeramus, Troxeratus, Troxerant. I had dragged, you had dragged, he had dragged, we had dragged, y'all had dragged, they had dragged. Remember, conjugation matters only for the present and the imperfect and for the infinitive. It doesn't matter for the perfect or the pluperfect. Go to that stem from the third principal part and add the endings. And that's it.